Well, it is that time of the week again. And with the last international break of 2023 now behind us, it is full focus on the Foxes as club football returns. And that return provides an exciting challenge for Leicester City as it is Watford who become the latest visitors to the King Power Stadium. And the Hornets arrive here in good form too, unbeaten in their last six league games. But for Leicester, a chance to regain momentum again and start to develop a gap again at the summit of the championship table. But it won't be easy against the Watford side, who are strong defensively. They don't have many chances conceded against them, let alone goals. But let's bring you the team news, starting off with the host, Leicester City. Enzo Maresca makes just the one change prior to the international break. Matt Hermansen spent both games on the bench for Denmark, but returns to his usual starting role between the posts the City. Ahead of him sees an unchanged back four with Vass and Vestergaard in the heart of it and James Justin along with Pereira providing the whip. Harry Winks has been ever-present in midfield so far this season but suspension rules him out this afternoon. That does allow a spot for Ndidi who returns from injury keeping him out since the middle of October. Chowdhury and Dewsbury Hall complete the midfield. Akatia and Mavadidi provide the whip, leaving Ian to the preferred option up front and a note on the bench sees Dennis Pratt, Dennis Pratt return to the side for the first time since August through injury and then on to this afternoon's visitors Watford it's three changes from the 5-0 win against Rotherham last time out the first of those is in goal as Backman comes into the side the back four is unchanged ahead of him and features Newcastle Loney Jamal Lewis and Academy graduate Ryan Andrews there's one change to the midfield trio as Luzak comes into the midfield to join Livermore and Kayembe and that leaves the final change of Tomins out wide and he'll look to provide Watford's top scorer this season Rajevic up top so here we go then we're almost set and ready Leicester City in the all blue Watford in their change strip this afternoon the white shirt and the burgundy shorts All we do now is wait to find out who will get us underway as a roar from the Leicester City faithful prior to kickoff and prior to Watford kicking us off. What is a big game at the King Power Stadium. A chance to get back to winning ways again for Leicester City after a slight drop-off prior to the international break. The man in the middle, the referee this afternoon, Sam Allison, as first the two sets of players will take the knee ahead of kickoff. And they are back up and we are underway at the King Power Stadium. As so it's Watford who get us underway and it's Andrews right by the halfway line and straight away Watford kick it straight out of play because the centre halves are occupied ordinarily as a fullback you, you Andrews would pass over the on in that away from Watford and Leicester are in behind Ian Nacho did he have his shirt pulled that's what the Leicester City fans are complaining about as he was breaking in behind in the end Backman was able to get their first in goal for Watford but uh, Almost an early slip up from the visitors, allowing Ian Atro in behind. Yeah, it looked a little bit insecure on a couple of occasions with the passing across that defensive line, but on that occasion, yeah, Ian Atro stripped clear of the four tails, didn't he? And it's one of those. I don't think it was quite enough to give the foul, but the little tub back or scrape back by Porteous is uh, probably affected Ian Atro in his touch without you know, trying to defend him too much because 
You could say it was a very poor, heavy touch from Ian Natcher in that situation. Watford moving it well at the moment. Tom Mintz with a low ball in towards the back post and a huge chance for Watford, miscued by Rajevic, who just needed any kind of connection, really, and it could have been 1-0 Watford. Leicester have just won themselves a uh, free kick since. Yep, that's, that's a great opportunity, isn't it, there? I mean, as a centre-forward, you want to be gobbling them up, don't you? Too easy from Leicester's point of view. Tom Ince there, not closed down sufficiently. Around the target, have, have got a, a chance to sort of spot the danger, if you like, because it was all so ponderous, really, and so slowly. It wasn't even built up, it was a Manson to fast and they were just walking with the ball. Here's Dewsbury Hall inside the penalty area, low ball across towards the back post and a vital touch in there defensively from Watford. How close was that from for Leicester City? Well, strange sequence of events, wasn't it? The free kick given there. Don't see it too often these days, but a little hand on the ball, bang, let's play, let's go. Good awareness from Leicester's point of view and an ocean of space <laughs> uh, was appeared for Dewsbury Hall and he's just charged his way down that left-hand channel and importantly won by Vestergaard as he always does and now Leicester can think about breaking forward here's Ndidi in the central position for the Foxes edge of the area now centred out wide towards Mekatir low ball across well blocked by Backman and Mekatir will let it go out for what will be the first corner for Leicester of the afternoon yeah I think listen, Leicester have potential in many areas of the pitch you know, out wide up top Essentially, but I just feel look at here returns it towards Fass again, looking to drag it up towards the halfway line for Leicester in field towards Ricardo. Dewsbury Hall now finds a gap for Leicester City as he looks to drive on towards the edge of the penalty area, goes for goal, and it's saved and held by Backman diving down to his right hand side. But a good attempt that from the Foxes, number 22. Yeah, decent effort, he's capable from that area. The, the way things were set up, it, it was a bit of a, a long shot, not just in a literal sense. So it's between James Justin and Dewsbury Hall to take. And what could be a good chance this for Leicester City, a similar position to where Dewsbury Hall had his effort on goal about 10 minutes ago. Looks like he's gonna get another chance here. Yeah, um, I hope I'm tempting fate by saying that neither are free kick specialist as such. As it's rolled short towards Dujvil, who has a go, and it's just wide of the post. Backman didn't move for Watford; he was just hoping that it sailed wide, and that's what it did. So close for Leicester. Well, nearly made me eat my words there, didn't it? For a non-specialist, that was a, a valiant attempt from Dujvil Hall. looking for a runner in behind as he spreads it out wide towards Mavadidi. Well read by Ryan Andrews now for Watford, who are looking to start a breakaway here, led by their number 45. Andrews goes low in towards the penalty area, and Ricardo does well to come across and clear first time for Leicester, who have it now with Dewsbury Hall, looks to take it around the, his defender. Will he keep it in play out wide? He does. Still Dewsbury Hall goes back in field towards Mavadidi. Ian Acho inside the penalty area, and eventually coming back in there for Watford was Jamal Lewis, so close for Leicester, but it will still be a corner. Yeah, Leicester's best bit of play for some considerable period of time there. Andrews intercepting Fassi's pass. Backman gives it straight away, actually, as he looked to send it long. Is Makatia, Chowdhury for Dewsbury Hall now. Dewsbury Hall sends a low ball in behind. That was blocked in there, but Leicester quick to get it back now with James Justin. Sends it down the line looking for Mavadidi. Leicester City looking for a big finish to the first half. Dewsbury Hall, high ball in towards the back post. McAteer with the header, well saved by Backman. That's the best chance yet. And a fantastic save from the Watford goalkeeper. Yeah, sharp play. The main protagonist of this first half involved. Mavadidi, Dewsbury Hall, McAteer. All three of them have looked likely at one stage or another good feet from Navadidi that usually all picks it up nicely gets his head up clips in a delightful ball but it seems as if I don't know if it's a conscious ploy maybe Maresca has said okay to create that extra 
forward player. You know, one of the mid two sort of holding midfielders burst forward. You know, Hamza Chowdhury likely to sit and hold all the time. Ricardo does the majority of the time, but in that instance, made a burst straight through the middle. Centre halves were occupied. There's a big gap there. It was nearly found in huge space, and the, you know another six inches on the extension of his foot, and he has a touch, and he's in. That's one back well by Leicester City. Here's Ian Atro out wide in the penalty area. Mavadidi, and it's just wide. From our angle, for a moment, it looked like it was in the back of the net. It was the side of the net that Mavadidi found. So close for Leicester, but good pressure from the Foxes to create the chance. Yeah, good movement as well, and good awareness all round. Gives them go, giving and go, going their way through. Mavadidi, his Vestergaard for Ricardo. In field towards Chowdhury, Vestergaard then sends it across towards James Justin. Back with Vestergaard once more. Out wide on the far side with Fass. Fass's only option is to uh, turn back and play it to Vestergaard again. Justin looks to flick it round towards Dewsbury Hall. Right on that halfway line. Chowdhury out wide towards Mavadidi. It's, uh, well read by Porteous. Yeah, you know, just a little bit of hesitation at times, isn't there, from James Justin. It's always to play forward. He did on the second occasion, but initially received the ball and it, it, it's like he sort of uh, overplays the, the word from the manager I know the manager wants them to keep the ball and not put it at risk that's quite evident unless they really think the ball is on but taking it to extremes on occasion Justin Ricardo just about gets there ahead of Bayo and uh, then wins it back for Leicester in what could be a promising position. Sends it over the top towards Dewsbury Hall. Great turn, great strike off the post. So close for Leicester. How about that for a turn from Dewsbury Hall as he looks high into the sky and wonders how he didn't put Leicester City in front. Denied by the woodwork. Yeah, getting ever closer, aren't they? That chance from Mavadidi a little while back and now Dewsbury Hall as well. Lovely dink ball, it gets forward, doesn't he? Causes, provides that extra man. Watford at full stretch to defend him. The pressure keeps on building from the Foxes. Yeah, they need to keep this energy, this pace going, don't they? Don't let it subside. In by Ricardo towards the back post, and the header just over the crossbar from Vestergaard. He scored from a corner against Swansea just over a month ago. Almost scored from a short corner that time round. Expect to see more of that, to be fair, from Vestergaard. Both you know, his attacking prowess ability, but also the delivery there. But it was spot on in this instance from Ricardo, as it has been for the majority of the game from that individual. Here's Mavadidi bursting round the outside. Vardy at the back post, and he skied it again. Huge chance for Leicester City once more. It fell to Vardy on the volley. And it fell on his left foot. His weaker side, and you could tell on that occasion. Well, <laughs> what can we say about that? The first opportunity Vardy had. I expect him to hit the target, if not finish. So a Leicester City free kick out wide on the far side. 15 minutes to go at the King Power Stadium. The pressure has been building. Dewsbury Hall has the most assists this season in the Championship. Can he find another here as he sends his ball towards the back post? It's a fantastic save for Ben Jamie Vardy. There with the back stick to get it home this time. It's third time lucky for the Leicester City number nine. It's seven goals in eight home appearances against Watford. And it's a huge goal here against the Hornets as it breaks the deadlock with 15 minutes to go at the King Power Stadium. Well, you did feel it was coming, but you were concerned that it would because the longer the game went on, the more chances sort of spurned by Leicester and in particular their main man, Jamie Hardy. You thought, is it going to be one of them funny old days? Watford have been plucky and resilient, but their uh, resistance slowly dwindling, isn't it? And 
Leicester becoming more and more likely to score. Vestergaard on a couple of occasions a threat as he was there with the set-piece delivery by Dewsby Hall. He won't quite achieve an official assist. Watford now with the throw. And uh, some are just being encouraged by the referee not to move any further forward before taking it. Chuck Fedetze. Semmer now out wide. Martins running towards Fatawu. Watford have it back again, though, with Kayembe. Now back with Backman. With the just over five minutes of normal time to go at the King Power Stadium, Leicester City leading by a goal to nil. Backman sends it long for the Hornets, out wide. James Justin working hard with his defensive duties. Chowdhury helping out there too, but Watford have done well to uh, spring it in behind towards Andrews. And uh, his cross slash shot was fired straight down the throat of Hermanson, who was able to claim second time round. Yeah, unorthodox from Andrews. Could have caught Hermanson unawares, but uh, good handling at the second attempt. <laughs> Uh, as he sort of almost patted it down and regathered at his near, near post, but understandable. But uh, it seemed much more of a foregone conclusion not so long ago than it does now. Here come Watford on the edge of the penalty area. There's a shooting opportunity and a huge save in there from Hermanson, diving down to his left hand side. He claimed it too. Looked like it was Porteous, yeah. the centre-back, <laughs> finding himself on the edge of the no. uh, Leicester penalty area. No wonder you had to check your, your team sheet there. You're thinking, what's he doing up there at this stage? But, uh, yeah, great run from deep from Porteous. Almost halfway through the uh, five minutes added on at the end of the 90. So it's booted long by Leicester's number 30, headed on by Cassidy towards Vardy. He's in again here, Jamie Vardy, round the goalkeeper, who takes him down. And it will be a Leicester City penalty deep into stoppage time. A yellow card for Backman. And also a red card then produced. I wonder if it was, was it his second yellow card. Is it second or yellow? It I mean, it's got, got to be a goal-scoring position there. Is it? Was it? I always get confused. A double jeopardy rule. Uh. <laughs> it's so rare to see something like this. Happens to Chowdhury there, just giving back with a little bit of a hug. Ex-teammates last year, of course, weren't they? Yeah, <laughs> that was only Penny's only just dropped on that one with Hamza, but. Surely it's not going to be a knockout situation, is it? <laughs> Jamie Vardy missed down the other end. Oh. You're not meant to mention that. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Surely not. History can't repeat itself. you got to fancy Jamie to tuck this one away. So Jamie Vardy, who could have had about five goals this afternoon, will now take this penalty looking for his second and Leicester City's second as he scores from the spot and finishes the scoring, finishes off any potential doubt of a Watford equaliser, as it's Leicester City 2, Watford 0, Vardy now with his sixth league goal of the season, probably one of his easiest of the season, against the Watford centre-back, who was in goal, but he smashed it home. Three extra minutes on extra time, you know, injury times. Surely that's about it, referee, isn't it? Well, I think he's listened, because that is that. There goes the full-time whistle. Throughout the 90, it was all Leicester City, really. Chance after chance. The best of those fell for Jamie Vardy. And it was third time lucky for the Leicester City number nine, who continues his fantastic goal scoring form against Watford. It was an easy tap in at that back post for the opener. And then he got his second deep, deep into stoppage time after Backman was sent off.
for Watford for bringing down the Leicester number nine. He was called from the spot against Watford's number five, their centre-back portier, something you don't see often. But something you do see often is Leicester City getting themselves three points. They're back with the victories again. The final score at the King Power Stadium. Leicester two, 